Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel. This is Cheryl, and I am working on my planner uh, in Good Notes. And I've already outlined my week today, and I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to show you what I've already done so that I can get right to um, what I want to demonstrate today. So I'm working on the week of June 19th through the 25th, Monday through Sunday. Um, I use my highlighter to highlight the week. And so what you can do is click on your highlighter and whatever week you want to work on, you can use your highlighter, draw a line, hold it, and it'll make it straight. And then if you make an error, you can just use your eraser and erase it. Just that simple. Okay, so Monday the 19th was Juneteenth. So I did this in Adobe Express. I found this in Adobe Express. And um, so I, I brought it in as, as a photo. And if I wanted to resize it or move it around, I just use my lasso and just move it around just like that. And this just shows a little bit of the history of Juneteenth and what it is. Uh, it's an annual celebration commemorating the freedom of all enslaved people in the United States. And on June 19, 1865, two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation, Union soldiers went to Gavinson, Texas to enforce the freeing of all remaining slaves. And President Biden made it a national holiday. So that is why we celebrate Juneteenth and why the banks and post offices are closed. So on the 20th and 21st, I have appointments. Also, Wednesday is payday. Thursday, I'm having coffee with a friend. This element was from a friend. I did a Bible study with her, and she does um, stickers. So I just cut and paste that and cropped it a little bit and added it to my calendar. This one I found on Pinterest. And these, this phrase, it's a great day to have a great day. I did this in Photoshop, and this is another one I found in on Pinterest. I created this little phrase, goodness and mercy shall follow me, which is a scripture all the days of my life. Uh, and see, on Saturday, I'm going on a sea turtle photo walk. And a couple other little elements, flowers. I've shown those before. So... I'm going to go to the next page and I'm not going to use this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a photo of a page I created in Adobe XD and I'm going to size it the size of the page. And if it works, as I hope it will, it should fit right on this page. So I'm going to resize it. And this is a Bible journaling page. I created this in, as I said, Adobe XD. So I'm just going to resize it there. And I think I need to make it a little bit taller. I'll bring it down and so that it fits. And of course, when you're filming, Nothing works exactly the way you want it to. So there, I'm just going to slide it over a little bit just so it fits right in there. Okay. So this is a Bible journaling page that I created, scripture for the day. And so I can either write it out of scripture or I can go to my Bible app and copy a scripture and just paste it there. And I want to list some things that I'm thankful for. Um, and then what, where do I need grace today? Just some reminders of how can I extend grace to others 
um, and where does I can put a person's name there, need grace today, uh, steps of faith I can take today, and prayer requests. And I see that I have a little spelling error there. So that's how you can bring in a photo and resize it to fit your, your page. And I think I have another one. So I'm going to slide this over and I'm going to bring in my file folder and do a split screen. I'm make it a little bit smaller. Hopefully. And see if I can find the page that I created. Here it is, Inspired Daily. So what I want to do, same thing, I'm going to take my pencil, hold it down, bring it over. Nothing ever wants to cooperate when you're, okay, now I'm going to have to Okay, I'm just going to second work with this. Okay, so I'm just going to resize this. I think I may have, okay, just kind of do the same thing I did with the other page. So I think this one's a little bit too. Okay, and then I can just bring it down. So then this is another Bible journaling page and today is I can put today's date or whatever day it is that I'm working on just kind of resize it okay so I can use my Apple pencil put what today is if I wanted to use a text I could today is whatever day it is I'll just put the 21st okay and then I just bring it up here uh, the scripture for today is Mark chapter 1 is the scripture I'm going to work on today. Mark chapter 1. Did I spell it right? 1 verses 16 and 17. Okay. And this is where Jesus is talking to his disciples and is telling them to come follow me and he's going to make them fishers of men. And it says that immediately they followed him. So you can refer to that if you like. And then I can list some blessings, things that I'm thankful for. I can put two or three blessings here. And then I can put my prayers, my personal prayers, or list specific prayer requests there. Okay. So... That's another page, and I'm just covering up the planner pages, trying to get it lined up. And I might just have to leave it because it doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, all right, and then I can change my font style. I can change my font size. Okay, the next, I'm going to do one last one. Let's see, I'm going to bring back my file folder and see, I can find it here. It is here somewhere, I think it's up 
one of these days I'm going to go through and I'm going to organize my file folder and that way I can find it find things a little bit better okay if I can't find it I'll just let's see is it in here mm. nope it's not in there but okay I'll use this one okay it's just a plain page okay so we'll just use this one and you just do the same thing just long hold on it and bring it over into your page okay and then again you just want to resize it and what these handles are here it allows you just to bring it up bring it over okay and then you just kind of keep resizing it till it fits on your page and this is really easy to do you can do this in powerpoint you can do this in um, on your ipad if you have apple apple products you can do it in keynote i use um, adobe xd but if you're an illustrator or in design person you can do you can create planner pages in those apps as well you can also do it create them in Fo photoshop using um, using your shapes tool and that's what these are I'm using the shapes tool. this is a photo that i imported in here um, and these are it's a rectangle um, <clears throat> there's a picture embedded in the rectangle saying with this eclipse here so that's kind of what i wanted to to show today using some of your own photos using some of your old your own tools and designing and creating your own planner pages um, well i hope you enjoyed today's session uh, remember you can use your own handwriting or you can use the text tool you can use your keyboard or you can use your pencil to write out a word and just say I'm just going to say thank you okay and then I'll use a space thank you for watching okay and then i can increase the size i like all the words and increase the size here and then i can also um, bold the letters if i wanted to un italicize them underline and i can just keep keep increasing the size of the font or if I wanted to, I could use my lasso tool. Get the lasso tool here. And resize. Now it doesn't want to do what I want it to do. Well, that's always what happens, as I said, when you're filming. Okay, you can change the way your lasso. So let's see if I can get it to. Nope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off images, and that should allow me to lasso. Well. <laughs> it's so funny when you're trying to do something when you're filming it doesn't want to cooperate but anyway so you can also change the color all right so i'm just gonna just call it a day and uh again thank you for watching join me again next time for another session of 
planning and good notes. And until next time, ciao for now. Bye-bye.